Brady 1958 and welcome to my Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker episode 14. We're going to try yet another assault on this front door. We're going to try coming straight on and sneak up to it to see if we can pick some people off of bows until they figure out where we're coming from. I don't know if they're smart enough if when we went away for a while if they went back into hiding. Nope, looks like they're still there. Okay. So what we're gonna do is Because everyone Great, he threw spells, so now everyone sees us. Oh, no, they don't see us. Okay. Hey! Thin the herds, we should do much better. Okay. Oh, at least we got rid of something. Okay, we need to switch back to the weapons here. And bandit. And you need to do a big cure. Another big cure on her. A small oxyas. Okay. You're up. A small oxy. Let's stop. And you need to start medicating. I'm dying, but I'm free. Great, just great. So Oh. Uh. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do inventory. And you're still up. Oh no, you're the one that's still up. No, you're the one that's still up. Do you have any? You have one left. A small axios. Right. I'm dying, but I'm free. So close, so close. We were so, so close. So we're going to have to micromanage this entire thing. And we're going to have to start using the spells sooner. Okay. Why do I have less hit points? But do I have the belt? Huh? I thought I had 52 hit points. So there's a bandit. So maybe the bandit's more important. So let's see if we can get the bandit with the bow. And I am on bow, right? Nope, I'm not on bow. Maybe you can make the use up all the hey. spells. is they have a lot of heals. Hey! That's way too many. I don't clear it. Well, maybe they have the feet to give them extras or something. We gotta run the cleric out of heels. I think we may have run him out of heels.
I'm by far the best bowman, I believe, of our party. Atarneo! Yeah! So we did auto throw the uh, bless again when it expired. Good with the bow, I don't have any damage plus on it. Definitely cheesing the game a little. We need to fix the exploit, but. Okay, now that we've taken out all his support, let's go ahead and unhide. Hmm? Let's have you throw. Oh, you don't, I thought I had you take. Oh, I guess you don't have that. Okay. So we'll have you. I guess we all have to run up there. Okay. No, not just you. <laughs> You run up, and you run up, and you run up, and uh, let's switch you to bow, and switch you to bow, and have you attack him, and you attack him. And we'll have you throw a magic missile at him. I'm dying! Well, so we one shot at the. One shot it and killed her with the second arrow completely. Piss! 
won't kill me. I'll survive. I always survive. And where are you at? You're supposed to be up here helping. Are you, do you have a bow equipped? I bet you have a bow equipped. No? You should be there. Oh no, it's you that's missing it. Where the heck is... Where the heck are you? Why are you not... Okay. That's why. Okay. That was a little cheesy, but we managed to kill him. May the looting begin. So he had plus one bow. Aspect of the fountain, you take an aspect of the falcon, your eyes become wide, raptor-like, you grow feathers on the side of your head, gain a plus three company bonus on perception. Wow, this is a really, really nice bow. You go to 19 critical, plus one on ranged attacks, critical multiplier. I don't know where he's getting the plus for damage. So this allows the wheel to use Aspect of the Falcon as a spell three times per day for one minute each time. Okay, that's neat. Yeah, oh, he only had Reinforced Studded. The Stag Helm. Plus one insight to attack rolls against flat foot and flanked. Boots of Elven Kind, plus five on mobility. Ah, that's where he was getting some of his damage plus. And plus one gives an additional protection against cold. Okay. Well, that was goodies worth stealing. So let's all go down here. And heal up. Okay, let's save. And let's go loot the inside of the house. And that was a cheesy way to do it, but okay. Let's go in the house, see if there's any treasures to loot in here, and we'll probably have to come back with Whoa. my guard. See if you I can see that. Unlock. See what? I don't see what you're saying. I see. Ah, a trap. I'm here. Please don't fail. You would die horribly. Okay. Which means we probably need... Let's go stealthy because we move slow. Because I'm afraid there are probably more traps in here. 
Okay. Eh, that's just bobbles. This isn't the main guy's room. I assume the room with the traps is the main guy's room. There's at least one more trap. Some more traps here. Yep. I don't think you find traps any better when you're in sneak mode. It's just since you're moving slower, you have more time to find it before you walk over it. I wish you didn't set it off. Really? Thank you. And it's locked and she fails. Of course she fails. She always... And you only get that one try. Well, it looks like there's another chest over here. Which is also locked. And she also failed. You are the world's worst thief. Well, apparently I didn't see that trap. Okay. So, there's a barrel over here. With eggs in it. Oh, it looks like there's somebody there. So let's get set up here. Let's put one cleric there. And let's put one cleric here. And let's put you back here out of the way so you don't die horribly. And let's put you here to open the door. And then you here. And you here. The door is locked. Of course, the door is locked. Can you pick this lock at least? Yeah! Yes, you can. Okay. Okay, I don't know who the heck you are, but you're dead now. And you had plus two hide armor. Oh, that's good. And guess what? Failed again. Oh, wrong person. Are you going to pick this lock? Yay, she got one. Wand of Cat's Grace, Scroll of Stone Skin, Scroll of Freedom. Okay. And you have one left. I'm pretty sure you used... Oh, oh no, you had one left too. And then you should have spells left. Yeah. Okay. Looks like that's it. Let's go back here. Because this looks like it should be a secret room. I'm not finding anything. Okay, well, let's head back. 
and see our glorious victory. Yay, glorious victory! Okay, so we have the locked one, the locked one, and we got all the other ones. So hopefully, we should be able to successfully make it back and tell Olog the good news. Which will probably generate a new... Um, open up the, our barony, I think. I'm not sure exactly what happens after you kill him. Okay. Oh, looks like a mandatory fight. Hopefully it's something quick and easy we can kill. Really, Cobalt? We just killed the dragon. to do. Now normally I probably wouldn't have taken advantage of a bug like that, but I really didn't want you guys to see me endlessly and endlessly fighting over and over the same uh, combat. I'm sure that bug will be fixed. Evade. Can be. When, they re when the release version of the game comes up, so... Yay! And we'll go see what Olag, Ol, Oleg, Oleg has to say. And then probably call it an episode. Goodness. Maybe now you'll be able to actually live in the stolen lands rather than just surviving. Without a doubt, more people will flock here now. It'll surely boost trade, but all the noise they bring with them, well, that's none of your concern. I bet you can't wait to return to Restrop and report your great victory. Oh, I bet if I say that, it ends it. So... Go ahead and sleep, and then do the rev scene so you can see what happens. Actually, let's, yeah, let's sleep, save the game, and then click on it and see what happens. Okay. Save it in the Let's Play Master Save. And 
now we'll head off to whatever that is. How close are we to going up, by the way? Oh, quite a ways. I know I'm running long, but I sort of think you guys want to see whatever this is. Good work. Nice to see. I haven't lost my intuition for people. Not many would have managed to set out to the stolen lands and return with the stag lord's head, but I knew you could handle it. Congratulations are in order. Today we'll receive... You'll receive the title of Baron before the High Society of Restov, and even Natalia Sertova personally, God bless her. Tomorrow you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands if you wish, but this time as their rightful ruler. But matters of state can wait. For now, enjoy the feast in your honor. All the city leaders are here. It's a great opportunity to make some useful connections. Speaking of connections, let me introduce you to Castle Eldora. He's my adopted son and apprentice. He's a trustworthy man. I'll, I'd like to send him with you as an envoy. A young half-orc with impeccable poise performs a textbook perfect bow. A pleasure to meet you. I would be honored to serve at your court. Do you already know about treason? Of course, Kestel kept me a full report. You dealt with the scoundrel perfectly. It would be naive to think that none of your neighbors will try to stick their hands in your affairs, especially that sly fox, Irovetti. Uh, da, da, da. Thank you. I'm going to speak with the guests. End dialogue. And at this point, I think I will go ahead and um, save the game. And we'll continue up next episode with maybe doing a little bit different and going and talking to the various guests so we can get some pre-information on our new barony. So as always, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you dislike the episode, leave me a dislike is fine. But please leave a comment saying why you disliked the episode. As always, this is Spidey1958, and have fun gaming! <laughs>